Hello viewers and welcome to the second preview update, much anticipated preview update on the PS4 version of Project Cars. We're going to see just visually how it's developed uh, since the last build and we've got a lot more preview content to come as the game nears release in mid-May, which is the current date we have. So just a few weeks away now. The build you see running here will, uh, will have been put together in around February time, so it'll have come a long way even since this version, so there's lots more to come in it. But either way, as you can see here, racing around Monza, it looks absolutely spectacular. And you can here we see that same video again now, just from the different multicam video. And you can find a link to this at the end of this video and watch the entire race around Monza. Wet weather's improving all the time can see the atmosphere the spray and again all of this will be running at 60 frames per second on all formats so you can see the spray around the corner fantastic and, uh, keeping it all together and this video is just going to look at some of the different car classes uh, just look at the performance of the system and where they are in terms of development there's still bits to do on the game to make it tip top now we're in the Zonda racing around Zolder uh, and again yeah, middle of the day running nice and smoothly I'm using the controller hence why you see the wheels a little bit a little bit jittery in terms of the wheel input and that's just down to me using the controller obviously at home I'll be using the the wheel and you'll see that on the PC videos we've got PC videos still to come lots of those as well do enjoy project cars immensely more on this circuit do some late braking here and there was no practice uh, before any of these races you're going to see on this video it was very much a case of play a race go on to the next one next car next track race it so not always time to sort of hone the lap times as it were but either way you can see the detail fantastic uh, this was a test now again, many of you will have seen the roof uh, race I raced on the PC recently. Well I thought, how does the PlayStation version handle 43 cars? Uh, you know, we've talked about how many cars can a race handle, well, here we are, 43 cars, you can see them loaded around the corner on the map there. And it was just interesting to see how it worked, and it worked perfectly, there were no drops in frame rate, uh, 60 frames was solid, and it worked really well for me a bit slow in this corner I think a car up ahead had a mistake and boxed them up a bit but that's fine they all spread out now and uh, now you're just wanting to let the car string out a little bit get into a flow and then take your time in overtaking them but here we are 43 cars racing around the track on a console racing game I think this is the first time we've had this many cars running whoa like this on a racing game we can see there a bit of bit of dodgy overtaking we've got an ai going across the grass in the bottom corner there it's all kicking off lots of drama I'm losing a bit of grip myself there wheels spinning up might have had taken a slight knock and uh, now just trying to get sensible with it everybody's jostling this early part of the race to and a bit of track position. Oh, took the wrong time to look across there. I knew there was a car coming past. But again, these multicam views really do give you a good view of the race. Uh, some of these multicam videos will appear on the Facebook page, so you'll be seeing them on there as well, just if there are specific cars you'd like to look at. But uh, it's also been put in terms of the amount of cars this game focuses very much on car classes rather than a big list of cars to drive so you can drive in different types of GT racing you know open wheel classes find a class that suits you but the real pleasure just comes from the driving and this is an absolute pleasure to to drive this car it handles really nicely you can see the suspension moves well you know you can really find the speed with it and it's going to be one of those where I think you find a lap time but then you're always going to be discovering something new um, I also ran an extended three lap run on the Le Mans Bugatti circuit again in the roof because I enjoy it this was just for personal enjoyment and just really getting a feel uh, I, I've got a three lap time trial again there's a link to the entire video 
at the end of this video so if you'd like to see more of this do click on that and you'll see this entire race run uh, in this run it goes from wet to wetter to a little bit dry at the end and so you'll see as the track surface gets wetter how the grip is affecting the car and how I'm you know braking more missing apexes going wide really interesting to see how the car behaves again all running very smoothly so lots of detail there skipping around the outside I'm trying to get on the power obviously you get that understeer into this slow sort of double apex corner Power. Audio sounds great, really nice audio in the game throughout. Uh, some of the replay effects, uh, fantastic, real, real step forward there. So it's all coming along for racing fans, and this is just the sort of car that will be a pleasure to drive. On to Road America and the LMP2 car we see here. Again, multi cam view, uh, replays are nice, speeding into turn one. Nice lighting as well, coming through the trees. Getting a little bit wide there, trying to avoid everybody. But again, lots of effects in the game can be tailored to how you want them. You can set what time of day you want to race. We, we always have the time of day sped up to some degree on some of these videos, just to show the transition between day and night. You get that nice orangey glow from the setting sun side it's really nice to see it from all these angles the replays as ever impressive in the bottom corner there really nice to see these panning shots showing more of the circuit and it's something I hope we see more racing games in the future is more authentic replays I'm just turning my lights on I found the lights on button there's another video where I didn't uh, carts at this stage still coming along AI on carts still needs a bit of work here and there but it's one of those that's one of the sort of last minute things as I can get completely out of shape there. They're quite tricky to drive the carts. Jumping out of a big heavy racing car into the carts was tricky, but then I was back onto Formula B, having a race around in the Formula B. I've always enjoyed running in the Formula B. It's been kind of that middle of the road car that feels like a Formula One car, but there's really nice dynamic handling to it. You know, it slides, it moves on its suspension. You feel the tires biting more. It's a really nice car to drive. Replays again, just shows sort of authentic feel and some great audio. Great audio in there as well. It gives that realistic feel. Cars going everywhere, knocking cones. Love the way open wheels being so well represented. This is just an onboard view of what you saw then, but with the multi cams at the bottom as well slight touch on the car there but we get away with it I think I had damage turned off on this obviously if you want to run full simulation where your car disintegrates on the slightest touch or spins out all the time you can you can achieve that lots of effects can be turned on and off in terms of handling in terms of I believe, visual and time of day so there's lots to develop and work on This is the type of racing that's not been well represented on console, I've said before, but look how good it looks. I mean, the, you've, the, you've got the helmet cam running there, which is creating the depth of field effect. Obviously, you can turn that off if you want to. You can adjust the movement of the vibration in car and the helmet to suit what you want to see. And we have, of course, the T-cam in the bottom there. Looking for a way around the outside, so I could cut back inside. Wasn't happening for me. On to Formula One, though. You know, we've gone from karting. You work your way up the ranks, the Formula ranks, all in the game, from Formula Rookie, from Ford to Formula Golf to uh, Formula C, Formula B, and eventually Formula A. If we all know what this is. So racing around Silverstone again audio and the feeling very nice and visceral uh, the engines and cars are based on the 2011 season 
We've got that great engine sound that we miss from Formula One these days. Hopefully a version of it will come back to F1 one day when we get past the engine development phase. And of course a bit of a multi-cam view with a start here as well. And again, this was a case of jumping from car to car. Very different braking through a big accident there, just avoiding that on turn one. And braking, braking. My braking point was completely off there, so I realised the right. Okay, I understand the brakes a bit better now. Getting back on the circuit. And going down the Wellington Straight into the complex of Luffield. You know, it's it's uh, a great feel to it, and it's every type of racing game. It's sort of the one racing game to end them all, really. I think that's why I look at it, and I think, you know, providing they can get the handling right on all the different cars, which has really come along nicely. You know, it's just got to be approachable and get people into it. But we don't always need to dumb it down. Sometimes, you know, simulation is simply more intuitive the cars do what you expect them to do they don't surprise you they don't have a funny handling style to them but I'm slowly getting it together with this car as I work my way around the lap obviously the first few corners you're you jump in a new car on a new circuit hit the brakes and it's not quite where you expect into stow it's really nice to see the you know the wing in the background there feeling of being there, of course looking great. Took a couple of corners there, you need to find breaking points for those. We were spinning in that final corner and across the line there. And of course, you know, if, if new, new Formula One cars aren't your thing, then there's the old selection of cars as well. And these go across the classes. There's a wide range of cars from all the different eras here. And we see us in the Lotus 98T in the wet at Donington. Now this car was a real handful to drive. Uh, again, I was just simply learning the, the car at this stage. I wasn't able to be competitive with the AI. Uh, I let the AI kind of go at the beginning just to give me a bit of space actually, uh, race my way round. But uh, we've got the different views here and you can see when the turbos kick in that back end really steps out. It's really, really tricky uh, in these wet conditions when you turn off some of the assists and you just sort of trying to be really gentle and you don't want the power to really kick in until you straighten the car up otherwise it will just sort of instantly snap round on you and braking but not wanting to brake too much because if I, if I brake too heavily the car will just spin out so you just almost have to come off the power and let it roll around the corner once you've missed the apex in these conditions this car was not liking these conditions at all under steering everywhere and of course the different audio effects you get from outside the car as well. I'm not one best for, suited for driving outside the car, but as you can see there, it's a bit tricky for me, so time to change the view, get back in car again where I belong, and we'll race around and learn the circuit. So that's it for this video, looking at project cars again. Just bringing you all up to date on the improvements that are being made throughout the game in terms of visuals, in terms of the cars you can look forward to racing, running on a PlayStation 4, we've got coverage on Xbox One, coverage on PC and there's going to be more to come from me very soon but do click on one of these videos, check out the other Project Cars videos we've got and as ever there'll be more from me very soon.